Mike, I want to ask you, you in my last interview with me, you told me you were writing a book. Mm -hmm. Where we are with that? Oh, we're getting there. Getting there? Yeah, okay. we're getting there. I'm we actually excited. spent a lot of time, Adam, uh, my employee, uh, spent a lot of time uh, um, videoing, videotaping me okay. and answering questions. Okay. So we've got, I mean, how many hours of that we have now? So that's going to go into, oh, uh, you know, we'll gonna be able to make text out of it. And then I can use bits of it to, you know, it's okay. for me to write and to do work like this. And all, I mean, I just, I'm exhausted at night, you know, my, and my, my thoughts, yeah. my thoughts go so fast and my fingers are so slow. Well, I mean, <laughs> you have technology forget, today. So I forget my, you have technology my today. You can, can get those videos and make transcriptions from them. And then you read and see if everything is there. Absolutely. That's it. That's right. Another suggestion, maybe. You, Technology today, we print a book and maybe you can put a little barcode there mm -hmm. that go to the video that that came from. Yeah, people thought with that their too. Oh, that you would know, be that's fun. So, you know, trying to do, uh, to introduce all my work with uh, writing it, um, the videos are out, that are out there, the YouTubes and the, and the recordings of meetings and like that. Yeah. There's a lot. So, so I get to put a lot of information there. And I can just, I can spout. Yeah. I just spout and spout and spout and spout and spout and get there, you know, but it, writing is just so difficult. Yeah. Well, let's use technology to extract all that information and transform in a yep. book. Yeah. Yep. I mean, I'm excited for that. I want to yep. see that coming. Got another one I'm going to England in uh, October to go to the National. Okay. And I got three, I got three talks to do at the National. That's That'd good. Be fun. I love that. national. If, if yeah, that's know. the kind of videos that kind of explode you in the YouTube. That's the right? one that, that was the first one. Yeah, the sustainable API. Yeah, that was the first one of the first ones that I did. Yeah. yeah. That's going to be a good continuation. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's that's fun. It's going to be the same subject. Uh, no, nope. he said you're not allowed to do anything you've done before. I see. Well, I'm going to work on. So what is it? The Brood Factory talk. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, then another one that's going to be about uh, seasonal management of nucleus colonies. And so I have to, a lot of that stuff is in the brood factory talk, the wintering and then getting them ready. I don't, uh, feeding, I don't need that. I just need to talk about brood factories and my theories and all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then in the seasonal management, then I'll include the other. So, so I'm going to break it up into two. And then the third one is, um, you know, construct, I build all my own equipment. Yep. And so, um, you know, how to, how to build the equipment and how we use it and pictures from the field in use and like that. How to be sustainable in that and have a, yeah, a cycle. I, I don't know how anybody can possibly um, um, start a bee business now on Apriary with, it, with the intention of maybe making a living at it. When you have to pay the prices of the woodenware, it's, it's ridiculous. You can't can't do that. You know, when I started, packages of bees were $10 and 50 cents. I agree with that. That's another pattern I saw with my visits. The successful ones, they build their own stuff. Right. Right. What's a hive body now? It must be up around $20 or $15 or, I mean, gosh, you can go buy lumber and make the thing for less than 10. Yeah. So. The other pattern too I saw was the, the guys are, in my definition of success, are very quiet. You don't know who they are. Mm -hmm. They're very, they, they just, well, let the people talk. Right. I'm fine. <laughs> right. right. Yeah, the loud ones are always, I don't know, sometimes uh, not who you want to listen to. Mike, I just want to thank you one more time for your time here. Oh, yeah. Congratulate you 50 years, yeah. man. <laughs> thank you for the work and yeah. inspiration you do to everybody. Yeah. Uh, everybody from all over the world ask me, when are you going to see Mike? Yeah. When are you going to see Mike? You know, that, that really is amazing to me. I, I mean, it's so, it's warmed my heart, I'll tell you what. Uh, you know, when I, when I spoke at EIS, I started getting tears in my eyes when I was talking about that, how much I, I appreciate, you know, your appreciation. Yeah. And, um, and now, I, I don't know, is Pettis still the president of EAS? Yes. Uh, I don't know. Uh, who? Jeff Pettis. Jeff Pettis from the, uh, he's the president of Apimondia now. Yeah, that's what I'm sorry. That's okay, what you're I'm talking about Apimondia. Okay. And yeah. so in Montreal, 
Yeah, we were, we were there. And um, one of the things I, I found lacking with Apomundi in Montreal was the fact there was no there was no track about practical beekeeping practical at all. Beekeeping. It was s little science, science, little charts and graphs and and, and uh, PhD students and. We need balance, right? We need more. Absolutely. And he agreed with me. And so hopefully this time, mm -hmm. you know, and I tried to get a be to speak there. They let me put up a poster. Okay. So hopefully this time, and I'm going to get him to write. He said, I read your thing and I knew that was from you, and but there's nothing I could do about it. And yeah. well, this time, maybe I'm going to write it in uh, my application in the fact that so many people in, in, um, in Latin America yeah. are following yeah. me. You know, and it would be good for them to hear what I have to say. Yeah, uh, firsthand. You know, not I, not re reading it through some. I know that for a fact. Interpretation. Or... A lot of the communication I got is from South America people that are curious about your work. Right. I, yeah. And they're more. I, I think they might be more comfortable to to write to me because I'm from South America, so they ask me for things. Right. Maybe I should ask them to. Talk with Jeff. <laughs> yeah, right. right to Jeff. Yeah, or yeah, really. So, I mean, it's usually only a fifteen-minute uh, yeah, uh, talk yeah. you can give, unless you get uh, get to be a keynote. Yeah, yeah. Then you have a. <laughs> but I'd be happy with a fifteen-minute talk. Yeah, I would be. You can you can deliver your message in fifteen. Absolutely. 